him big dummy. What's up, Internet? Corey Zamier here, back again with another weekend adventure in video game hunting. And this weekend, we're going to strike first, strike hard, no mercy. We're out. It's actually not that early, but <laughs> I, I slept a little bit later. Gonna hit a few tag sales, hoping that a PlayStation 2 has been lingering at this tag sale. It's apparently go been going on since Thursday. Kind of have my doubts about that, but other than that, it's just asking if they have video games, hoping that they have video games because no one else had anything listed really. Might actually head down to Bethlehem today if it's if I can't find anything else. We're at $44 that we can spend based on our $40 challenge. We have some rollover from last week. So let's hope we find some games, guys. I actually had to pass on the PlayStation 2. The guy wanted, it's PlayStation 2 Slim first off, so it's worth less. And he wanted 45 for the PlayStation 2 and two games, Sonic Underground, or uh, <laughs> Tony Hawk's Underground 2 and Sonic Mega Collection Greatest Hits. Uh, if it weren't greatest hits, I'd ask for the game separately to see if he'd do that, but I didn't want to, he, he didn't want to move off his price either, he thought it was worth that. Which, uh, it, it really isn't. It, it just, like, I'm trying to justify it, but it isn't. But I did get these cool little Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures. I don't really know what they're from. I uh, don't have all of them, Missing Leonardo, my favorite one, of course. But a dollar for these, you know, it's pretty cool. It's Sunday. We're on a long trip out to the Bethlehem Flea Market, which is open year round. But I, I used to go pretty much every week, but it's like a 45 minute trip and three dollars a game. Not often that they get more games in, but it's been, I think the last time I came down here, there was snow on the ground, so hoping that they have something decent because this is pretty much the only place I'm going today and I'm going to make the video. Uh, very scenic, I guess. Whoa, stay on the right side of the road, dude. I really shouldn't do this while I'm driving, huh? Internet. First off, this week, we need to talk about the $40 challenge. I don't want to hamstring myself like I almost did this weekend if I didn't amend the $40 challenge. Um, a lot of the stuff I got this week was PlayStation 2s, which I'll be getting rid of. Like, I don't buy PlayStation 2s to stack them up and make some kind of PlayStation 2 sculpture. Like, I sell them for a profit to help cover the cost of the weekend. 
So I'm not going to spend on, well, forty dollars total on two PlayStation Twos, and then my weekend's over, and that's all I have to show for. That's that's fucking stupid. So if I'm going to be getting something that I'm going to be selling for a profit, I'm not going to count that. That's going to be from its own fund, which I'm actually using to build up towards either getting a Wii U, a PlayStation 4, or an Xbox One. I honestly, I'm leaning more towards the Wii U, but I know I shouldn't, just because there's no games for it. Like, even the games that are on the horizon are pretty far off, like, nothing immediate. There's no reason to not wait for a price drop. So let's start off with what I got earlier in the week, which is not part of the, basically the weekend, but I didn't make a pickup video for this week. So this is a whole bunch of thrift store stuff and also some deals I got looking at Cheap Ass Gamer. All right, first up going chronologically, I stopped by my local Goodwill after work one day and they had two NES games just sitting out, which is rare for them. Um, I don't have these, so I picked them up. Double Dribble and Rad Racer. Double Dribble, I actually remember, this was my first multiplayer experience ever. I remember playing against one of my cousin's friends at my house when they let me uh, borrow, borrow their NES. And it was okay. I was terrible. I was like six. So, but I'm happy to have these games. Always adding to the NES collection. Uh, these two next games I got basically retail. I picked this one up at GameStop. It's on sale for $20. It's cross-buy since it's new. So I actually have been playing this on my my Vita. And honestly, I have about eight games on the Vita, and none of them are physical. That's the only that's the only system where I don't actually own a physical copy of a game. And I'm okay with that because all these games I've essentially gotten for free. Like, I paid $20 for the PlayStation 3 version of this game, and this game is a lot of fun. It's not, it's no Smash Brothers, don't get me wrong. It's a, it's a lot different. It's very different, but it's still a great game. And the next one was from Best Buy. I got it online $8.50 after shipping. Um, Kirby's Dream Collection. I forgot what it was called for a second. Special Edition. Uh, new. Basically, I guess they have a lot of these that they're trying to get rid of because, you know, it's a Wii title. It's not a Wii U title, so they're probably trying to liquidate most of their Wii stuff. Next up, I have some games I picked up at Goodwill and Savers. Uh, I have to reshoot this because the other one was unsynced mess, so let's do this really quick. Uh, I got, for a dollar each, I picked up Tomb Raider Greatest Hits and Top Gun Fire at Will. Uh, not a collector of greatest hits, so I'll probably be getting rid of this somehow, and I really don't care about Top Gun. I've never actually seen the entire movie all the way through. A uh, game I'm happy to have, Spyro the Dragon, Black Label, gonna have to replace the case because it's a little cracked, $3. Tie the Tasmanian Tiger 2, Bush Rescue. I think this is one of the, those PlayStation 2 platformers where the character, like they're trying to launch a mascot, and it kind of got left in the dust of like Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank. Uh, but he's an Aussie tiger, I guess. And throws boomerangs as a weapon. And we got Lara Croft, Tomb Raider, Angel of Darkness. I think this is one of the mediocre Tomb Raider titles. I don't really know much about it. Uh, Champions of Norath. This is the EverQuest universe. I really don't know anything about that. I only played EverQuest for like maybe a few weeks back when it came out, or when my friends tried to get me into it. Uh, Draken, The Ancient's Gate, also don't know anything about it, it's probably no Panzer Dragoon Saga, but you know. And a game I'm actually happy to have, Primal, I enjoyed the demo back in the day, it's kind of like an action platformer, I believe you like absorb people's souls to get powers, and it actually came with a memory card, so that's an added bonus. And at Savers, I picked up two games, uh, SmackDown vs. Raw and SmackDown vs. Raw 2006. Good condition, both complete. I saw the Completionist's um, review of, I think it was SmackDown vs. Raw 2006, and, you know, I'm kind of interested in going back and getting the older SmackDown vs. Raw titles because I'm a wrestling fan and... You know, whatever. Let's see how the series evolved. Now we have WWE 2K14 coming out, which I'm 
semi-interested in. Alright, let's take a look at the games that are actually part of the $40 challenge this week. Um, we started off slow. We found a sealed, or well, mostly sealed, it's got, coming up a little bit on the edge here, Call of Duty 2 Big Red 1 for the PlayStation 2. Factory sealed. They wanted $4. I offered 2 It's really not worth much of anything. Sealed or open. So, whatever. But well, that's $2 down. Then at a tag sale, I found... When I didn't think I was going to find anything at all, I find two NES games. One was Mario Duck Hunt. Left that behind. But they also had Spy Hunter, which I don't have. Uh, just bartering or dealing with a kid, so I didn't really... He asked for a dollar. I said a dollar. And a big chunk of my money this week went to Sam, who just got in. A really good condition. Works perfectly. Final Fantasy 2, a.k.a. Final Fantasy 4, as we all should know by now. Uh, for the Super Nintendo, I didn't have this one. Happy to have it. And another game, which technically he wanted 30 for this, and I said okay. And then I looked over and he had a game that I've been wanting to get for the Sega Genesis. That's Ranger X. This looks like kind of a action shooter. But just look at this badass cover. And I've seen other people pick this up, so it must be a pretty decent game. It's worth about 15 to 18 maybe. I'm just noticing it says not for resale. I don't know if that makes any difference. But it's complete in great condition. The manual's a little fringed, but I think that happens a lot with Genesis games because the haphazard way they have the manual in there. But really happy to have this so he actually gave this to me for free basically he said I'll throw this in too so if you work it out Final Fantasy 2 and Ranger X for $15 each pretty good deal so that's I started this weekend with $44 four from last from last week that's 30 33 I'm left with 11 for next week, so next week I'm going to be rolling out with $51 for the $40 challenge, basically. Oh, got to make a correction there. I just said I was to have 11 for next week. I forgot completely that I went to Bethlehem today when I was shooting this. Um, I did pick up two games, one for Xbox and only on Xbox title, and one for GameCube, only on only for Nintendo GameCube. That's Brute Force. It's a game I'd been looking at for a while when I'd see it at uh, Game Exchange. And for $3, that's a better deal than I could get at the Game Exchange. I think they had it for like $5.95 there. And Beach Strikers Virtual Virtua Beach Volleyball. It's so made by Sega. It's an only for GameCube, whatever. Picked it up. Didn't want to just walk away with like one game. But I really couldn't find anything else there. Bethlehem was really, really a waste of time. I'm probably... Sorry, Bethlehem. I'm never going back. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm saying it right now. I'm never going back. Next up is all the stuff that doesn't go towards the $40 challenge. These are all the PlayStation 2s I got this weekend. Three of them were at tag sales. One of them was at a Goodwill. At the Goodwill, I paid $20. It came with all the cords, no controller. Uh, first tag sale I actually hit today had a Slim that I left behind because he wanted 50 bucks for it and wouldn't budge. It came with two games, no controllers in the hookups. Would not budge on that. That was the one that I actually picked up, uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Little Figures, which was pretty cool. Um, then I scored a lot for 15. I actually had a box full of stuff, which is this stuff right here. $15 I got PlayStation 2 had some third-party garbage controllers I believe two memory cards one uh, official one third party and then some games uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 for the PlayStation Midway presents arcade greatest hits Atari collection 1 Jet Moto 2 and a random ass Sega Genesis game General Chaos which is randomly worth like $15 I think I don't really know. This looks kind of like a strategy game, or maybe a shooter. I haven't tried it yet. I haven't really looked into it other than how much it's worth. But I'm probably going to be keeping some of these, I'm not sure, um, on the PlayStation games, honestly. I'll probably keep this. 
I might have this already, I don't remember. I'm probably going to get rid of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 just because I already have it on the Dreamcast and, you know, what's the point? And this one, I don't really know because, whatever. Then I actually bought this Slim for $15. The kid was actually playing it while I bought it. He had a TV up outside. He was playing Simpsons Road Rage when I bought it, basically. <laughs> <laughs> made him stop playing and came with a whole bunch of games uh, Simpson Road Rage uh, Greatest Hits gonna be getting rid of this not even complete uh, a random game that I've never heard of that's worth like 15 bucks Saturday Night Speedway they also found like the flattest chested person to be on their cover which is I don't know maybe their game would have sold, be sold better if they had made a better decision there uh, SOCOM Combined Assault, I'm going to be getting rid of this because like I think I said before, I don't really care for SOCOM games. And here starts the random ass fucking sports titles. Every fucking week, I'm kind of pissed that I even took these. Like I should have just fucking left these behind. I fucking hate these fucking sports titles. Like goddamn, how... Alright, so this person was into fucking baseball, NASCAR, NHL, and football, and fucking NCAA basketball. I can't stand these fucking sports games. Can't stand them. I have so many of them now because I'm fucking, like, forced to take them when they're in a fucking bundle. I still have some from, like, episode, I think, like, five, where I just have these fucking sports games everywhere around this room, and there's nothing I could do with them. Actually, I just thought of something to do with them. This is what we do to sports games here in Connecticut. Got two hammers here. Unfortunately, I can't dual wield them. Because I have to hold this camera, but first up, EA Sports F1 2001. Let's see if we can curb stomp this. I don't have a curb here, but let's see how this works out. It survived. How resilient are you? Not resilient enough. Who's next? Madden, you can get it too. Oh, this is making a mess. Oh, I'm gonna get in trouble for this. Uh, let's see. Action Bass. Action piece of fucking ass. Make cool little frisbees. <sighs> NFL Blitz. Eh, you're pretty scratched already, and I already have you, so you can get it too. Madden, 
2007. I'm not sure if it was you or one of your brethren, but you pissed me the fuck off. You can get it two over six. McNabb, you suck. Goodbye, Jordan. Pro best challenge. You did. Don't have anger issues. Keep it real, internet.